or for George Washington, or to acknowledge uh, that the United States of America was founded, uh, at least to the West, on Indian lands in very brutal ways, but that that's a part of the history that can't be somehow expunged. She Madeline says she doesn't believe in having uh, bases named after countries. Confederate and generals because they were traitors. The that you That's kind of lazy, right? Somebody out yeah, of it, can respect that. Uh, because you didn't want them in history. We're dangerously close to doing that uh, in our own renderings of history just to make ourselves feel good and feel comfortable. And it's a huge mistake. I also think, Sunday, when you were describing... It's crazy that that's what you think the problem is, though. That. How many statues we take down. That is really uh, difficult to do at this point, I think. I am teaching now. I'm teaching graduate students. But one is a little bit nervous in terms of afraid that you're going to use some word wrong or um, that it will have implications that you were not thinking about and trying to get them to disagree with each other. So, but I do think the universities are on very uh, delicate ground at this time. So, the other thing, because both Condi and I have not only been, but taught about decision making, the part that is absolutely essential when you are doing national security decision making is to have somebody, when you're in a, a meeting of the principals, you want somebody to disagree. I mean, you need to have alternative voices, not just a bunch of people that are yes, yes. And I always talked about those meetings as, um, you know, you'd like to get some agreement before you present it to the president. But if you can't get some agreement, you go and argue in front of the president. And it makes you have to know what you're thinking about and to respect those that have different views. And if there isn't that alternative view um, in a decision-making process, you have robbed your country of uh, good advice. And so I think there's a lot that has to be done now, but it goes back to where does our information come from? Um, and the truth is we don't all know. That is the part you, that is difficult. You should know by now. You're being lied the, to the by magic Putin. Of technology if he's telling you you shouldn't wear a mask, downside. if he's telling you you shouldn't get a vaccine, Finally, that's Putin, the Trump, the Trump virus, genocide, Zuckerberg, Secretaries lying to you. And that's fascism. Addressed a question about the effects